right now. No shoes either. Dindin is uh, he's walking barefoot around the top lane. As Poby's going to come on over, there is a control ward in this brush, and it looks like Nongjim are looking for a fight. Teleport in from both of these top laners, and in goes Ona. The flash out from Fiesta, though, and there is the equalizer. But first blood goes over to Jiwoo. Dindin is burning down, needs to flash, but is going to be able to escape. And now Nongjim are looking for even more. Tibbs is going to be taken out. And T1, is there anything left in the tank to fight this one one more time? No teleport from Dindin. So it's an honest 4v4, but still, T1 are going to back away and Nongshim, Nongshim win the first team fight. That everyone can see, but they... Oh dear, there's a crash down. They do get the flash out of Hobi, but the immediate Glacial Prison comes on in. But that is going to be a cease and desist on to Sylvie. He is looking to try and escape. The Equalizer is going to be flashed out of. And now Cassante finds the backline, but the backline finds him. And he's just obliterated. We've equalized the We're kills here. Solo cues and I'll, oh, I might have to hold that thought for a moment as Dundon is looking for Zayas. That Equalizer is going to do nothing here, but Zayas is just going to burn him down. Sometimes you just get really, really hot. Ooh, there is a flash pulverize on to Sylvie. He's looking to try and run his way out. It's a decent magnet storm, but no follow up here from Peter as Bladecaller is going to do a lot of damage. Owner is just dead once again, though, as Carrier finds yet another one. A great oh. equalizer. Look at the AoE and look at Zayas. He's just back in, destroying everyone. Zayas, this is the guy that we missed from last week. Where have you been? Oh, it doesn't matter. We're just glad that he's back. That is going to be the triple. The ace comes through. This and was a tried and true one from back in the day uh -oh. as Poby may die here. I think that he's, it's going to be, yeah, tough for him to get out of that one. And is it going to mean that we equalize the Drakes uh -oh. as well? Uh, Zayas is here. Okay, that's a flash prison. They want to try and take him down, but Kerry is there to defend. Jiwoo going to be taken down. And now Sylvie, nothing he can do against Zayas and Ona, but mainly Zayas. Poby's going to teleport in, avoids the Q from Dundon there quite nicely, finds himself a little bit of a cone there. And once again, the Cassante is by himself. And there's not a whole lot that he's going to be able to do. He could have gone all out, but that was not the time to do it. A teleport from the Pigeon, and oh! but not going to be enough. And he just heads towards the top side of the map. Peter will probably die. Does avoid the Vault Breaker, though, so he can say that he at least had that one. And that is actually some more money going over to Nongshim. Uh, Magnus Storm comes in. Owner is trying to kill him, and he will be able to do it. The Ignite's still ticking. Does make some sense there. As, uh, we got some flashes flying in. There's a headbutt pole onto Sylvie. He's trying to get himself out of there. Magnet Storm, they just dive on top of the Rumble. This time it's going to work. He gets the Equalizer out, but it doesn't do anything. Void Seeker comes in. And Nongshim, they've managed to find so much of the damage. Like 50% of the game's damage is now dead. Can they actually take this Baron, though, is the question. There are still carries left remaining onto T1. Carrier uses his unbreakable will, but the Baron, they are still taking it down. Owner in the area, but there it is. The Baron's going to be taken. They get the Feather Storm. Empress Divide's going to be flashed, though, as now Gumushi trying to get these auto attacks down. Fiesta going to get taken. The Blade Caller is big. Gumushi now trying to get the autos in, but it's Jiwoo that locks it down. The Supercharger comes forward, and now Gumushi's in trouble. Beautiful Arctic Assault. And Nongshim, they are going to win the team fight. Owner, can he escape? I don't know whether he's going to be able to. No vault to mana. break over there. As Carrier, can he taxi his way? Scary one. They do need to pay attention, but Gumiyushi, if they are too yeah. busy trying to take down Zayas, Gumiyushi will kill all of them. So it's a difficult equation to try and work out. Okay, Owner is going to press that cease and desist button. They look for the backline as Jiwoo is going to survive. They take down Poby Fiesta, just barely goes golden to buy a few extra seconds. And Jiwoo are going to have to go back here. T1, move back towards the Baron. They don't have their mid laner, but I mean, that's kind of been the state of this team for the last little while. And they will be able to take the Baron here. They can now move over towards the Elder Drake yeah, the as well. The stats are nice, but I feel like it's not going to play that much of a part. It's all down to this fight. It certainly is. They do have a teleport from Hobi, but it's still 15 seconds away as Dundun just getting destroyed. These feathers are so dangerous as now Ona taking a lot of damage, but he's going to flash forward. Jiwoo needs to use the Zonius, but the rest of his team has been eradicated. And T1, they will be able to put together the Exodia. Does not have his Zonius back available. He's going to use this one wave. There's the Pulverize. Carrier goes for the flash forward. Dundun burning down. Tibbers running after him in mecha form there as well as the Equalizer is going to be thrown down on top of Fiesta again, much like it has all game long. He gets to the Fountain, but the Nexus, it can't get there. It will be taken down, and T1 is quite low. 
as is Kobe. As we've got another hook going wide. There's a flash out from Jiwoo. The flash forward though, and Kerry is going to lock down that first blood. That's pretty easy one. Oh, it's going to be level six soon as well. Yeah, oh no. That's a big old knock up as Dindin. Yeah, going to get thrown back on, and that is the brittle, and he well and truly goes down. No level. Uh, whenever he would like to, until that's on cooldown. I think we're not too worried as uh, we're going to see another grand entrance land and Jiwoo just explode. But yeah, he's just, just shy just of it already for T1. Yeah, this is just massive. And their composition... Uh, Sylvie? Uh, yeah, um, Sylvie is in the pit fighting Zayus as Peter finds himself a big old uh, dredge line. Zayus is just fighting by himself though as Jiwoo dives in and Paranoia comes down. They will be able to get towards that back line as over uh, the wall um... goes Sylvie and now Ona just in here by himself. They do manage to get the pullback onto the Trundle, and that is two kills here for T1 in response. They are still trying to get on top of this Vi, as Kerry is still going to walk on over. He is going to get in there, as, yeah, um, Sylvie, you oh. can't do that. What, what are we, why, why are we, what? He was standing on top of a ward as Peter is going to find a hook. There's the Vault Breaker in. Cease and Assist is going to come down onto Ona. Carrier tries to save him, but it's not going to work out. They turn the lights off, but he still dies in the dark, unfortunately. And Blastcone is going to disengage. This Hydra might be on Trundle top lane. Um, Carrier, just um, let's hold that thought for a moment as the Trundle may be dead. Um, I'm pretty sure he could potentially die. Yeah, there we go. You know what? Ona's going to be able to grab that kill. I'm going to continue my point. Yeah, as you were saying. Ravnus Hydra, you lose stacks on death. I'm not sure this is a good item for Dunder. Okay. Cease and desist going to come through onto Carrier. He is burning. Takes a last auto as he's ticking he down. Back. He gets the heal and uh, he's still going to die. So underneath the turret goes Sylvie. He's limping towards it as Call of the Forge God comes down. Sylvie not quite dead just yet, but he is so incredibly close, decides to go back in as well. Okay, gentlemen's agreement there on that one, I guess, as Ona's going to block the Void Seeker. Very nicely done. We don't get the pullback onto Jiwoo, so he will be able to survive. Dustbring is back in once again. We'll stand on that for the extra AD to try and take down that turret. As Sylvie comes on in. Okay, so Poby, he's going to be the sacrificial Azir. Uh, he will be uh, taken down here as now. Zayas gets the knock up onto Dindin. Dindin, though, he has subjugate available. He runs fast because he has swifty shoes. Fully stacked Ravnus Hydra. Oh yeah. That's a knockup as Dindin does use the subjugate here. Can he avoid it? No, he cannot. But look at this. All of that health, the tribute to the king being utilized. And like now... a real coconut fan. Yeah. But uh, I'm... You know, I like coconut. Still not a big fan of bounties. Yeah. It's not that good. His carrier is just having a good time, as we can see. Quickness going to come through as he doesn't have subjugate, guys. Um, so he's dead. Yeah, there we go. So there he picks up the kill. I mean, he that. should be with um, pre shiv LeBlanc top, though, as uh, Peter is still flashing. They're still going for things. And Dundon still going to be able to get a turret. Grand entrance, not going to quite find the mark. Emperor's Divide also does absolutely nothing. But I think Sylvie's still dead. There's the knock up as well onto the Viger. Who is going to get booped back once again? Peter going to get caught out of position as well, though, as Dundon's pushing the bottom lane. Let's go. Look at him. He's hitting it really, really hard multiple times. He's got pants. See, look in his inventory. He's got cool shoes. He's got the ravenous eyes. He's tanking the turret and eats it. There we go. Baron's going to go down. Because I think Zayas has been doing a okay in the matchup. I wonder what it. Oh, um, Peter is in a bit of trouble. He does have his tower there. He does. Uh, doesn't have flash though, and owner is just hitting him a bunch of times. With his and you know what? It's not gonna be now. Not for Sylvie. He's making his way out. Owner now. Not gonna be out of fear, Dindin. Dindin's not afraid of anything at all. He's just chomping one after the other. Sylvie coming on in. And there is the call of the Forge God. He once again takes down the Orn, but now can T1 find the team fight? That's oh. been wiped off the face of Summoner's Rift by Phoebe. The double kill comes forward. It's a double for Owner as well. It's double central here as Jiwoo, he might make it a triple for one of these guys, but instead T1. Uh, when she uses abilities, her auto attacks will put feathers behind. That is pretty neat. As good like that. is going to kill Jiwoo. There we go. Uh, Feather Storm, Peter going to miss time. So the, uh, a big smile on Gunushi's face. Oh. Paranoia towards the bottom side. Can you kill Dundin? Is the question as Bobby's killing Sylvie off to the other side. Dindon's trying his very best not to be scared, but he is scared and he is going to be taken down. Good work there by Jonah Strong to try and cover two fights at the same time. Is now Fiesta is dead. Uh, well, I mean, he's not. Uh, well, yeah, but he is. You know, but he is. 
He's going to call the ram. They are going to get the knockup, but he does manage to buffer the dredge line. Look at this. Peter just wandering it out. Oh, there's the cage. It's going to work out to help him, but the sand soldiers come on in and, uh, and stab nope. the Nautilus. But they get the kill on Carrier. Yeah, that was a pretty good trade. But oh. they can't see the Baron as well. Uh, as, uh, oh, no uh, oh. Oh, no. Um, you have to go in. Excuse me. Uh, the Baron is down extraordinarily low. Okay, Paranoia comes on in. They're not going to be the able, and that's just a free Baron. Thanks it was leash. almost kind of cool. Um, no, no, in I the end, see um, Poby's just going to win the game. Uh, owner is going to go down to a GA, and Poby's going to try and he's, he's throughout the dab, showing a little bit of pizzazz here for the young player. As the oh. ram comes through, and the Viger is not going home. Not today, as Dundon just gets trolled by the Sand Soldiers. Poby's playing with him, and he's going to be able to lock down the kill. Manages to get the other one. Carrier steals it away, but Poby, he's taken that kill in my heart, ladies and gentlemen. T1, they will be able to take down the Nexus, and 2-0 Nongshim.